So I mentioned briefly nested lists in a prior lesson. Now we're going to look at accessing elements in a nested list. So first, we'll go ahead and create a nested list. And I'll just name it nested. And we'll put stuff into it. So I'll do this, two, three, four, five. And I will, you know, explicitly kind of, uh, what, cat, dog, frog, and mouse. And I have missing a comma right there. So when we print this, we're going to see that we've got, indeed, a, two lists within another list. Now, if we want to access the first element of this nested list, we need to realize that the first element of nested is actually a list. So if I run this, if I do nested sub zero, then we get out of that a list. If I do nested sub one, what I get out of that is this other list. And you know that's that's great. If I do nested sub two, we're going to get an error because there there is actually only two elements in nested, and both those elements are lists, right? So I get a list index out of range if I try to access that other list. Now, if I want to access a specific element in the first list, I'm just going to put a second set of brackets here. And let's say I want to get this uh, three out, that's index two. And so what I would expect to see when I run this is the value three. So we can, we can even uh, take this a bit further. Let's put another nest in here. So this is going to be triple nested. And it's going to have the same index. And I'm going to grab the first element out of there, which is going to be even. Or I can grab the second out of there, which is going to be further. So this is how you might access these. And you can consider that we can, we, can, we can make slices out of these, right? This is all going to follow the same format and access a, a, accessing as, the, as a normal list, right? So if I do this colon here, that's going to get me even and further. Oops. And if I want to create a sublist from that, I don't know why that's not showing on the right. It's odd. There we go. If I want to create a sublist from this, I can simply do this. So even further, I can just assign this sublist to the even further variable. I can print that even further. And sure enough, what we're going to see is even further. I could do this for, um, well, let's just do it for the second list. So in this case, I'll go ahead and rename this um, to animals. And if I print this, it's going to be just that second list, cat, dog, frog, mouse. So that should be pretty straightforward you will encounter situations where you need to unpack this sort of nested list. And you're likely not going to do that using this type of list slicing. You're probably going to use an iterative approach, which we'll see when we get into iterating on lists.